Shalom. Let's all praises due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. Um, you know, Kwam Yasha Allah. And um, this is just a lesson uh, that I saw on in, uh, Instagram. Um, there's a uh, a lot of truth that's coming out, you know, through uh, the images of the saints, you know, of these uh, European kings that was ruled by the black nobility. And, uh, you know, prior to Esau, you know, coming in, uh, you know, coming on the throne, you know, because basically uh, the one of the last uh, black dynasties of Britain was uh, Queen Victoria. Uh, because uh, her 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 lineage goes back to uh, to King George the uh, the third and as well as uh, Charlotte Sophia and uh, there's a lot of uh, history man and um, you know, we're still in power she's uh, 144 likes or or uh, basically 414 likes of the screenshot you know but um you know we were uh we were in power man and this guy he's an actor but his lineage goes back to the strenheim and his connection to the black emperor emperor charmelaine the great uh 768 to 1814 a.d and uh, you know if you check your family lineage all right because uh, we have we we uh we you know not knowing who we are you know we're thinking that you know that our names come from white men you know but it, you know it's actually uh you know that we were lied to all right because our names you know a lot of our names come from european names you know, England, Scotland, Ireland, you know, German, and, um, you know, so not everyone came from um, so-called Africa, you know, a lot of our people were already here in the Americas prior to the whole uh, transatlantic uh, slave trade, but um, I'm just going to be flown in the spirit, I don't have nothing really written down, short uh, impromptu lesson so i uh, gonna see where this holy spirit where the rakakwa dash is gonna lead but you can see look, look at this image this is charmeline the great all right let me play this. First of all, you need to address me as King Michael. But um, <laughs> did you didn't you didn't watch the the, the segment on ans about my ancestry? Good you're Morning in, America yesterday. Yeah. You're on like 58 shows. There are not enough hours in the day. <laughs> I might have missed that one. Well, yeah, I'll be honest. I watch all your shows. I'm on one show, <laughs> and I sit three feet from you. You better be watching. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but anyway, all I know is that renowned historian Professor Henry Louis Gates Jr., he traced my lineage back through the centuries. And you guys take a look. And when we trace my lineage even further back, royalty, I'm a king, y'all. <laughs> Charlemagne is your 39th great grandfather. What? <laughs> So you see that so um you know these Edomites they know who we are you know where us only our people they, they don't know who, like who they are man you know we're lost you know Hosea 4 and 6 from our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge you know uh, since thou has rejected knowledge I will also reject thee right so this is what's happening right our, um, the most I he uh he basically judged us man you know we're being under judgment right we're under the curses do according to Deuteronomy 15 to 68 you know we're at the bottom last hire first fire you know charles the great um a member of the of the carolingian 
dynasty was the king of the Franks. All right, you could uh, do your own. Uh, you could screenshot this or go on uh, social media. You could uh, for this uh, for these images. You know, um, there's another video. See, this is uh, this guy. But um, you know, we had a lot of power, man. We had a lot of pull. You know, this is uh, you know, Saint Saint uh, Glass, um, the depiction of Charles or Charmaine and his uh and his third wife, right? Contour the Franks, you know. Carlos Magnus you know and this is the actual Charles uh, Charles the Great you know right here you know with his crown you know with a beard alright you Edomites were in the slavery man alright because we had you Edomites in slavery man that's why uh, when you read about like uh, you read about the book there's a book called um the golden age of the moor written by ivan sergema a very good book you know goes into that um you know because uh new edomites were uh you guys were in captivity man you know this is um what's it? this is um Constantine Constantine the Great, you know, 332 AD, you know, basically, uh, you know, they establish, you know, um, they establish like the church, you know, which was uh, funded was, uh, you know, by, uh, you know, the Pope, right, which our people were, I uh, know, all the people of, um, you know, they were Jake. You know who uh you know after um uh, the fall of uh when the edomites were, were felt went down you know when you read about um the five good emperors and then uh content and then um um like septimius severus you know which was like 191 a.d you know then 330 2 AD when uh, Constantine the Great came, but he was uh, basically a pagan pagan worshiper, and that's why they had they established these churches, you know, to basically, um, you know, make money, and to control, and um, were the ones who civilized you them you them Edomites right because, you know, we uh, for the most part you know we established these churches. You know, there's a lot of our people who is practicing, you know, the law, you know, but a lot of our people were crypto Jews, right? And then um, when you read about, you know, the the like the um, the Islam during the Prophet, so-called Muhammad, during that, uh, I believe during the sixth century A.D. is when. Um, that whole Islam came on the scene, which was funded by uh, the Roman Catholic Church, and uh, a lot of our people are still um, a lot of our people are still in power, you know, throughout uh, certain parts of uh, Africa, you know, throughout West, East, South, you know, and um, there is uh, basically, uh, you know, human trafficking, right? And basically, uh, that's why there's, uh, you know, because they're under that Islam with the Sunni law, like the Sunni Islamic law, and as well as um, like the Shia law. All right. So, um, you know, it says uh, slave noun, noun, originally Slav. A uh, Slav was usually in the second sense because of many slaves were sold into slavery who were sold into slavery all right you um you so-called khazars all right during the khazar empire you know which uh, jake was basically at the forefront right and basically um you edomites you know when you read about like the vikings 
um, you know, as well as uh, the Danes, you know, um, the so-called Anglo-Saxons, um, the Sephardic Jews, you know, um, you know, who are living throughout the Iberian like Peninsula, throughout so-called Morocco, Algeria, the whole of North Africa. There was a big slave trade, man. And, um, you know, you Edomites were brought very low, you know, and um, we civilized, you know, the Edomite, you know. But now, uh, you know, some of our, see, look at this. No, this is like a uh, African uh, king. I think this is um, East Africa, if I believe. This is uh, this is a uh, more. This is in Congo. All right, because um, a lot of our people um, were amongst the so-called uh, the Templars throughout um, Portugal. So uh, through that region, you know, so there was always, uh, you know, trade and stuff. But, you know, but, you know, Congo is destabilized, you know. And this is uh, like Uganda, another more. You know, this is Uganda, 1909. So um, there's a lot of, uh, so a lot of our people are still in power, you know. You know, throughout uh, the world, you know, but um, you know, some of them are practicing Islam, some of them are practicing Christianity, you know, and um, you know, a lot of I know some of these salt and they're mixed up, you know, as well, you know, with uh, you know, like the Ishmaelites, you know, and some of them are actually mixed up with the sons of Jacob, right? Just type uh, Jacob. Jacob's teaching, all right, when it goes into that, um, a lot of the Jews, you know, they mixed up with the Arabs too, you know, see, that's our people that was, uh, you know, some of our people was being, uh, you know, being sold into, our, still, our people is still being sold into slavery, man, all right, into these different uh, rings, you know. No, this is uh, Hamid bin Muhammad Al Sadi, Sultan of Zanzibar, 1853, 1902 AD. You know, and uh, you know, like this is uh, a Jake, you know, because where people were mixed up, you know, and they're part of these different orders, you know, and um, you know, but now Zanzibar, you know, is very low. Um, you know, because uh, Edomites is in power, you know, but this is another Jake, you know, the um, it's the Sultan of Zanzibar, you know, the white slavery in the barbarian slave states, you know, there's um, you know, and that's what's gonna happen again because um. You know, it wasn't just uh, you so-called white people that was in slavery. Because a lot of our people were uh, were still in power throughout the uh, Europe and throughout the uh, North um, North America. All right. Um. One second. Because prior to us going into the transatlantic slave trade, a lot of our people were already here in the Americas, establishing colonies. You know, you could do your own research. You know, could uh, I probably put this in the description? New Spain. You know. You know, we were already dwelling here. You know, through uh, the whole Caribbean. You know, uh, Central America, South America, and North America. All right. Um, read about this man too, Herman Cortez. Right, which is a Jake. All right, this is a whitewash image. All right, because you you Edomites were the Slavs, you know, and um, we're the ones who set up these whole the church, the whole church system, you know, and um, 
Then you had the Ishmaelites, you know, when they came to power through um, uh, so-called the rise of uh, the, the Mohammedans, you know, um, you know, like that's when the whole Islam, you know, came on the scene. And um, those Ishmaelites are still in uh, in power. Let's see. You know, so uh, some of them are people are gonna look mixed. You know, but um, they're uh, I'm gonna put the Jacobite teaching in the description too. You know, and this is what's gonna happen, man. All right, this is like a painting. You know, you eat them, <laughs> you eat them, might sweat. That's what's gonna happen. Man. Revelation, um, get a scripture. Let me get uh, Joel 3. Say Joel. Joel 3, verse, I believe, 6. Joel 3, and I started at uh, 5 or 6. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from. I start from 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and carried into. That was during the time of, um, you know, when the Babylonians, you know, or King Nebuchadnezzar, you know, when they, you know, the Babylonians, they rose to power and they uh, sacked like, Jerusalem, you know, like the Edomites uh, that participated in the, in the, um, in, like in our destruction, man. So you Edomites, you guys have a lot of things to pay for. The children also of Judah, the children of Jerusalem, have you sold unto the Grecians? Who is the Grecians, man? When you read about, when you read the first Maccabees, the whole Maccabees, you know, is us going against the Greeks, you know, these Edomites, all right, who are living over there in Macedonian, or like Macedonia, you know, because um, cause when the Edomites came, you know, during that time, like to Macedonia, a lot of the Japhites were driven out. You know, that's why a lot of the Japhites are there into these different islands. You know, a lot of them were driven out. That you might remove them far from their border. Because you have, you have, but um, I will raise them on the place. Whether you have sold them, I will turn and recompense upon your own head. And that's what's going to happen, man. We're going to take your, uh, you know, your, uh, your woman, you know, your, uh, the men. You know, as servants, you know, and you're gonna re and you're gonna build our empire, man. You know, yeah. Like, there's another one I saw on um, on Daily Motion, the white slavery of the barbarian North Africa and the Ottomans, right? So, um, you know, basically, when the Ottomans, you know, when they came into full power during, uh, I believe, 1453. You know, that's uh, that's when a lot of the Edomites started to come up. But right now, you Edomites are still, you're still selling your own, man. You're selling your woman, the men, the children, you know. And that's what they're doing, man. They're a bunch of uh, P-E-D-O-S, man. That's what they are, man. You know, but we're going back, you know, to that regal, you know, that no that noble state again, man. So uh, with that, let us all praise it do unto you. How about Shemi? How shy about Shemi? Kakwadash, the bonds, the apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. Uh, hopefully, this video is edifying. I'm gonna uh, post uh, probably two or three uh, things in the in the description. So uh, you know, so we gotta um, you know keep building. You know, we're almost out of here, we're almost out of here, man. So with that, I just say, I'll praise you. Do until you help. Bashimi, I'll share. Shalom.